Hi everyone and welcome to Daisy Chain, a junior uh, detective story. Um, this is a really short um, story game and I just, yeah, you become a detective bro. And it's like rabbits, they're really cute. Um, so let's just get into it. Oh, Meowza is here by the way. Let me, let me just bring Meowza up. There you go, you can see Meowza now. Uh, start. Ooh, full screen. Sunday, 11.32 a.m. Ooh, that is so loud. There you go. Ooh. Oh, oh, it's like, oh, I love it. What time is it? Peep. Hey, Lester, yawn. I can't yawn on command. Hey, Ross, I didn't, didn't make you, did I? Yeah, actually. Dude, I can't believe you're not up yet. I can't believe you expect me to be up before noon on a Sunday. What's the hurry? I always wake before, like, 10, bro. It's a, it's a problem. Part wants some help at school. On a Sunday. Yeah, it sounds like her art project got, just got smashed. <gasps> art project for the competition? Yikes. Yeah, yikes. You're gonna come and give a hand on art. Okay, okay, I'll be right over. Okay, let's see. Sunday, 11.55am. Pant. Pant. School really feels far away from your house when you're running the whole way there. Oh, it's so cute. I love the bunny. Aww. Lester's not here yet. I can't believe I be beat Lester here for once. I'm totally rubbing this in his face. Speak of the devil. That's Lester. Am I covering Lester? No, that's Lester. Well, you're here. I'm here. Did you run all the way here? Look, your house is closer to school than mine. You're lucky I remember to change out my pajamas before I rushed out to the door so I could catch up to you. Ah, oh, that's meant to beat me here, huh? Shut up. You're the one who woke me up. Are you two done? Oh. <laughs> Bickering. I thought you were here to help me. Is this Patricia? I don't care about your stupid argument or whatever. I love this art style. It's so, like, cute. It's so, like, like, simple and cute. I just want you to... Oh, it's, oh, stop. Sorry, Pat. Yeah, sorry. Can you tell us what happened? Why don't you see for yourself? It's over by the cupboard. Oh, shit. Lester, what? Language. What? Jeez, Darcy, we're all basically almost as those. I can say a curse if I want. So it's like, we're like 17, 18. Not a school grown, you can't. That's like illegal or something. It's not even a school day. I don't even think there's any teachers here. Chill out. There's only big rules if you get caught, huh? Oh, whoops. I mean, I guess. I mean, I guess I didn't really consider the moral implications of. <laughs> Why are we arguing about if, if you can swear or not? Y'all. Right, sorry. So, this pink pile of broken clay is your vase, huh? Oh, stop. You're making this for the festival, right? Yeah. That's was going to be my entry to the art com competition. So much for that. You couldn't, like, make another one. I mean, it's still another day until the festival. You have to, like, you have to, like, make it. You have to, like, get into, the, like, the thing and then, like, it, like, clears or something like that. I don't know what's going you know how much time I put into- You know how much time she put into that face, right? Oh, who said that? Why did I hear the whole time I didn't even notice? Oh, there's some people here. Oops. She's been hours painting that thing. Over the course of a few days, I'll watch her do it. Tabitha watched. Tabitha is a blue- uh, purple bunny. It was gorgeous. You can't just repeat that in one afternoon. Yeah, I mean, if you think- Even if you could get it set all set up and painted in time. It's just for you know. That's, this is the brown bunny. But now she's not gonna have anything for the- You know, whatever. It's fine. At least now I have time to walk around and see everyone else's projects. Oh, stop. No, we have to, we have to solve this. I hope you've, one of you, win, uh, one of you two in instead. Tabby, how, Howie, you didn't see anyone? Nope. We looked around a bit, but we haven't seen anyone else. Yeah, I think whoever did this has probably gone here, out of here by now. You think someone did it? Who, who, what else could it be? M my face is in pieces in the middle of the floor. What if someone like, threw like a rock or something? Point. It does seem pretty likely, huh? I want you to two to find out what happened. That's what you do, right? Yeah. Don't worry, Pat. We'll get to the bottom of this. Good. Pat, who did this? So I can destroy them. As you should. I would be angry too. That took me like ages to make as well. Gotcha. So what's the plan? Let's tell out what we don't know about the circumstances around us. Did Pat tell you anything else on the phone? Not really. Let's ask us some questions then. Yeah. Tabby and Howie too. How? Bro, I want to say Howie. We need to get an idea of what happened while the vase was unattended. Right, better take a look at the crime scene too, to see if anything's our place. Yeah, of course. What do you want to do first? I want to examine the crime scene, sir, first. Like, because if I find anything at the crime scene, I can question them about it afterwards, you know what I mean? Let's investigate the scene. Jeez, you always sound like an actual detective. Well, one of us I got to. Wow. Alright, let's get to work. I write down in my notes so we don't forget anything. Okay. What's with the paint? Oh, right, Jesus, everywhere. We have to clean this up, do we? It's not a big deal. It looks like it's big enough later that you could probably peel it off once it's dry. Oh, it's thick. Huh, I wonder who did this. 
You really acted like you knocked it over when you came here to smash the vase. Oh, actually, uh, that was me, the paint. You did that? I knocked it over by accident. You think using a big tin of paint for a school art project is unnecessary? I don't know who that says. I think the other cans on the bench are from the same person though. They've been here for a few days now. How come we didn't clean the paint up? A little more focus on getting the others back here. Like I said, it's a lot of paint. I figured it would be easier to just peel off when it dried if the janitor didn't get to it first. When was this? This was before you two got here. Probably just leave her vase here, a vase here for the paint to dry so we split up for a while. I came back here later because I realized I lost something on the bench. It wasn't until I knocked the paint over, can over that I realized the vase had been smashed. Yeah, I guess it's easy to miss if you're standing by the windows. Okay, thanks. We're just gonna take a look around. Okay. We have music. This is this is a bop. I'll take a picture of the crime scene first before we do anything. Crime scene photo at the notes. Ooh, click to examine. The footprint. There's a big smear and paint over here. Where did that stuff from? Footprint. I think I think I'm idea, judging from the rest of the scene. Hmm. Could be important. Big paint smear at the paint. Footprint. There's like a paint shoe print down here. A few others faded the ones that around. They're pretty much identical though. Guess someone stepped in the puddle. We may be able to figure out who's. That is mine. Oh, I didn't realize it, it had spilled so fast, so I actually slipped in it. Oof. Look, you can still see it on her shoe. Oh? Snick, you sure can. Yes, yes, very funny. So that big smear of paint there, that was why I stepped in it, yeah. Right. Are you alright? I'm fine, thank you. I got the benches in time. Good to know. Paint, shoe print, editor notes. Big paint smear notes updated. But this looks like it comes from the other shoe. This this paint smear looks like it came from the other shoe. Like if you see where it's drawn, like it's each direction is from this is going that way. You can see it's from this one. I mean, it actually could be both ways. Am I just am I just tweaking? Maybe this is the art. Huh? A baseball? The view on a baseball team, right? How how is going out with Mateus, right? Can I make some an honorary baseball player? That's not how that works. Just because I'm the only guy who, base who plays baseball doesn't mean I go around carrying baseballs around. That's so real though. Why would you carry a baseball around? That'd be pretty weird, Lester. All right, Jesus, kidding. This ball probably, does probably doesn't belong to anyone here. It potentially placed someone else at the crime scene. Yeah, but we don't know how or when it got here yet. 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 Okay. Uh oh, this one. There's another smell of paint up here. It's kind of small though. It's over in a big. A broken vase, so maybe Shard go over, go over near where the paint spilled. Shard? That's not a Lester word. That's way too fantasy for you. I know where you. Wait, no. You finally read my uh, Ali Azalea books. Shut up! I read one of them. <laughs> you finally seen the light. Oh, bro. I wanted to get my friends to get into the Warrior Cat series, but it's not working, guys. <laughs> too many cats. Oh my god. There's nothing to be ashamed about, Lester. Ooh, this. What's this like? Actually, music sequence, bro. What the hell? Ali and Zalia's got a lot of people, lot, uh, a lot of people's interest in young adult fantasy. Oh, never mind. It's not like World Cats, like at all. See how it gets it. It's never too late to jump in, Lester. We both get off my case. Anyway, if there was a piece of base here, it's not here now, huh? That's a little weird. Yeah, maybe we just got knocked out of the way. Maybe I don't see any paint on these pieces though. Oh, good point. Okay, so maybe they took the thingy. Is this a paint can you knocked over, Tabby? Do you see any other paint cans spilled on the floor? No, I don't. You saw the smash face right, over, right after you knocked over this paint over, right? Right. So the face was knocked over before the paint can was. This isn't really a lot of paint coming from a can. It almost looks like it, like it was almost empty. It would have been pretty easy to knock over even by, even by accident. Like, yeah, I guess that's true. It got all over her hand too. Wait. The face was knocked over before the paint can was. There isn't, this isn't really a lot of paint coming from a can. It looks like it's really empty. Okay. Yes, thank you, Howl. I tried to catch the can as it fell. I caught nothing but paint, unfortunately. Your hands look pretty clean now. I washed it off. I'm not an animal, Darcy. Okay, geez. Did you see it, Howl? Yeah, I came in as she was washing, washing the paint off in the sink. Okay. That's not a happy looking vase. Yeah, I got pretty messed up. Do you think it got dropped or knocked over the bench or something? Heck, someone might just hit it with something. Hard to say for sure. But it's not on the floor. If you're going to hit something, you probably wouldn't go to the to the trouble. Oh, true. Was a vase sitting on the floor on this table, Pat? Yeah, that's why I was working. Maybe I should have moved it over to the bench. No use worrying about it now, I guess. But now I, th I think it's fair to assume it got knocked off the, off the table. Okay. 
finish. I think that's everything. Oh! Yeah, I think you're right. Got everything down? Yeah. We still gotta ask Pat and Chloe some questions though. Oh, we better go on that. Hey, Pat. Think you can think you can fill me in on a few things? Oh. Whoops, I just... My, 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 my mic fell. Oh, uh, sure. What do you need to know? Let's see. This is such a- this is such louder. Let me- let me just- There you go. Uh, your well-being. Are you, like, handling this okay? Like, you pretty much just found out about this. It's gonna feel pretty bad. Yeah, no kidding. It's just- It's so unfair, you know? I was really looking forward to the festival tomorrow, and now it's just- Kind of a mess. Maybe I'll just stay home. I mean, I wouldn't blame you. I also took the mess out entirely, though. Maybe see how you're feeling tomorrow? Yeah, I probably should. Type in how would probably want me to come. I mean, that's not gonna fix the base I have worked so hard on, but. Mm. Can you fix it? Is there any way to, like, fix it? I mean, I'm no partner, but there's gotta be a way to stick the pieces back together, right? Oh, well, yeah, in theory. It wouldn't be a perfect fix, though. Oh, stop. Maybe someone, like, sabotaged you, bro. You'll still be able to see the seams, and there might be bits chipped off in places. I don't think it'll be done in time for the festival either. You can, st you can still do it, though, right? It'd be a shame for that work to go to waste. At least then you still, ha you still have a base. I guess. You know, I read about something like a while ago. It's a form of art where you fix broken pottery and decorate the in-between bits with like gold dust and stuff. It's supposed to seem like the breakage or is a part of history or something. I like how you can remix something broken into something that's still just as good. That's such a good thing though. I, 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 I like those type of pots, you know, like the, the ones who are cracked with like the seams. Bro, those are so pretty. Like, it would be pretty cool. Oh, yeah. That would be nice. Do you do something like that? You, bro, you honestly should. But you should... Patricia should honestly try that, because it'll, it'll look so good. Thanks. No problem. I'm sure it'll still look fine. Mm. I'm not sure how convinced he is, but it'll, it'll be worth a shot, right? What else? Your activity this morning. Can I ask what you've been doing this morning? Mm, well, we all got here a few hours ago, before 9 probably? It's better to let us all in. I just did some painting on my face and type in how we're working on the stuff for the festival too. Where's the projects? Probably finished our rice sculpture today and put it safely in over the corner like a smart person. I guess it's harder to drop and smash on wire sculpture though. Let's bring you here. Not so brittle. Come on, Pat, here, keep it together. Right, sorry. Where was I? Alright, oh, how was on a few paintings and watercolors? I'm not sure which ones are entering the festival. That stuff is kinda of all over this room. That's that poster on the on the up on the wall there. Ooh. Evergreen High Art Festival. Oh, yours yours how is how old? That's so cool. What's this blue ass paint in the corner, bro? You have blue what's this blue paint? Thanks! I probably could have done a better job if I spent more time on it, but I guess that's what I get for looking on five pieces concurrently. concurrently. Huh, what's up? I don't know, something feels off. It's the paint! About the poster! Yeah, but I can't put my finger on it. It's the paint! Probably because you've been working like really hard lately, like not necessarily so hard. There's paint in the fucking corner, mate! Go lie down or something. I uh, yeah, I probably should. After lunch, maybe. I just remember I left the house without even eating breakfast at first. That's the means a big one for getting out of bed. So if you were all working in here in projects, anyone else? Don't think so, I'm pretty sure it was just us. What happened after that? The others were pretty much done at that point. I wanted to let my paint dry. This was about 11, I think. We headed it out and split up for a bit. Split up. Do you have stuff to do something? Nothing important. I want to go get a stack on how How we all wanted to call Matthias. Yeah, I didn't get to talk to him much though. He's been out practicing all morning. So Matthias has been here too. That could be important. And Tabby? I have if I walk to stretch my legs. So none of them have much of a lot of how did you all end up back in here? Like I said earlier, I came back here because I left something on the bench. Pat had given me so many, um, back some money she owed me. Yeah, I can't believe you almost left that behind, Tabby. I think I remember seeing it on the bench too. Right, so that's when I actually knocked over that kind of paint off the bench. And is this a brick and vase? Yes. And open the window, I hope. I can smell that paint from here. We've had that window over there open all morning. All morning? Oh, is that where the fucking baseball came from? Oh, that middle one? Yeah. We were working with paint on money, so it seemed a bit to open the window. Fair enough. I left this important bar, jot it down anyway. Open window, add it to notes. Anyway, after the paint spell? So I left it down, I messaged the others, and they came back here. I went in for a bit, so um, so I got here probably 5 or 10 minutes after I got the, ne tax the text. Tabby and Harold were both here already. And then I called you. I got a call around half past 11, I think. That sounds about right. Howell and I both left for a bit to see... After that, you see the culprit was still hanging around nearby. We didn't find anyone. Okay. I think I got all that. If, anyone, if everyone's telling the truth, there'll be about half 
hour period of time when everyone could have come in and get done it. We should have more clues. Let's update it for evidence and profiles. What else? Sus suspects and motives. Do you have anywhere, any idea who could have done this? Or like who would want to do this? I don't know. I've never seen anyone just wreck a person's project like this. Why would they do this? Well, there's a, a few possibilities. Like it could have been a, uh, an accident? Maybe it was just an accident. Like, it's not uh, hard to knock over an empty vase, specifically if it's kind of light. Are you speaking from personal experience? No? Maybe. <laughs> but I've never broken a vase in my life. I'm a proud fact of that. I've never broken a vase in my life. That's not important. I mean, I guess it's possible. But why don't they just own up to it then? It's like they were planning to do it, right? I mean, was, I'll still be bad at them, but not as much. Well, that's kind of embarrassing, right? Breaking something that's not yours by accident. And if then, and then they, and they probably would expect you to be mad. They might have just gotten scared and took off. I guess it's possible. Accidents happen. I wish you just tell me though. Well, if it was, it was just a, well, it's just a suggestion. I'm not sure we really got much out of that. This is just speculation, really. As far as suspects go, though. What about you? Why would I blame her for her? Wait, why? What about Tabby and Howell? I don't need to do this, but it's gonna come up at some point. Well, there's two people I can think of who might have done it. Okay, Dos, I know what you're going to say, but... Really? You have to explore every option, right? I'm just saying. Wait, are you talking about us? Do you really think me and Tabby would... The guy you put on the table is just with Howell. At least, can do, at least until we can rule you out. Okay, as much. Tabby? It doesn't mean that they think one of us did it, Howell. Just that we haven't been proven innocent yet. You know neither of us have alibis, right? We just told them that we split up... We all split up after we left earlier. Yeah, that's true. It's nothing personal, okay? Mm. So basically, it's like it's like um, unlike America, like innocent to proven guilty. And it's like in other countries, it's like guilty until proven innocent. So everyone is guilty until they are proved as innocent and they're not like you know. You know what I mean? That's like the law system. Ah, I love this music, bro. Why is this so good? Mm. I think I think that's all we're gonna get for the time being. Yeah, let's move on then. Guess so. Let's recap. Sure. Okay, so. Gang left the art room at 11. Vase still intact. They regrouped him a half an hour later. The vase the is. Is it a vase or vase? I say vase. Vase is smashed on the floor and there's a paint everywhere. No, I actually say vase. I say both actually. It's either vase or vase. When, I think, when I'm like. When I'm yapping fast, I say vase. But if I actually like say it, if I say it like a normal speed, I say vase. Vase. Vase is just like a lovely thing to say. Vase. Tabby showed up first, says she spilled the paint herself. At least the shoe prints we found on the paint were definitely hers. Howell uh, showed up next and Pat. We got some stuff at the crime scene that's account on the counter for too, right? Right. First has a smell of paint that we don't know the cause of. Then there's a baseball. Matthias was out practicing this morning, right? We should probably see if he knows anything about this. Yeah, I think that's our next course of action. And I think this baseball is unrelated to this case. I mean, no one could explain how it got in here. Hmm. Hey, Howell. Who's Matthias been practic practicing with today? It wasn't a full team practice today, right? Yeah, I think I said there was a Seder with him today. They were just going to toss the rope ball around a bit and... Is he still here? I think so. Do you need to do you need to talk to him? Wait. Matt's not, Matty's not a suspect, is he? He didn't do it. He wouldn't. How? We found a baseball in here. We're, I'm pretty sure it's not yours. It wasn't in here, when you, in here when you were working earlier, right? I don't think so now. He should still be here. Here, I'll call him. Sorry, Harold. You know we gotta do it, right? Yeah. Was that coming from the hallway? That is loud. Yeah, it was. I'm gonna go get. I'm gonna go get him. Wait, bump. Whoa, hey, careful. Oh, Mateus. Fancy meeting your folks here, bro. He looks like such a jock. Look at him, bro. He's literally a jock. <laughs> you have to drag him, drag him in here, Doss. Sure, I did. What if you tried to run off? He probably would have dragged me along with him, to be honest. I'm not an athlete, that's so true, but I am not built for anything. Hey, Mateus. Yes? Why does he look stressed? Why is he so on edge? Does he have a guilty conscience or something? Why is he just like that? I guess I'll find out. I'm gonna ask you a few questions if that's okay. Oh, sure, I guess that's fine. Could you maybe go out in the hallway though? I think a friend over there is giving me the evil eye. Ooh, boy, she sure is. I think she already suspects him. Sure, whatever. Pat, you don't really think he... Ah! What is the science? Come on, Matthias, let's head inside. Right, okay. Huh? Sunday, 12.43pm. 
But he seems to have calmed down a little at least. You two, you're the sexist, right? Howell's talked about you. Oh, you have? Probably mostly Lester. I haven't really hung out with Howell all that, all that much. We're not like real cops or anything. We're not going to go really hard. If that's what you're worried about. Ah, of course. Right, well, we just had a few things that we wanted to ask you, such as practice today. Can you just tell, me, can you tell us more about your practice this morning? You have stayed there, right? Yeah. You don't really usually practice on Sundays, but she offered to help me out with some uh, additional practice. Additional practice? What do you need that for? Das? What? Look at him, he's not, he's not really exact, exactly lacking in the athletic department. It's fine, I don't take offense to that. But uh, I don't suppose this is relevant to the investigation? Hmm, he's right. Even if he's kind of dodging the question. What if he's cheating? Never has to get a bit of extra practice from time in from time to time. Yeah, I guess so. Where were you when you were practicing? Oh, mm, can I borrow some paper? Sure. Scribble, scribble. Scribble, scribble. Art oh, room B. Right, so this is another port of this. So this is a northern port. Northern, no, northern part of the school grounds. Did you see she's drawn off from memory? It's pretty good. You should go into architecture. architecture. I'm considering it. Oh, damn, for real? Good for him. Anyway, so that's a pretty big open space just outside the building right now. We wanted to use the actual field for practice today, but there's some maintenance going on, so we have to make do. We uh, figured you don't need a whole lot of space for just the two of us, anyway. Yeah, I guess if you're doing just pet, um, buses and stuff, that'll be okay distance. Do you remember where you're sta st uh, standing? Is that important? It might be. Oh, okay, well, scribble, scribble. Oh, this is a really good drawing, what the hell? I was over here near the left part of the building most of the time, and Satan was over here by the trees. The arcades know you're out there? Yes, I think they all saw me on the window at one point or another. Two or two were here the whole time? More or less. I think I hit a little faster than they did, otherwise, but otherwise yes. Cool, you got all that glass? Yeah, I got it. Maybe you borrow this map, Matthias? Go ahead. Look at this map, profiles updated. Okay. What next? The hallway just earlier. So like, uh, why are you hanging on around in the hallway just now? You're like right outside the door when you call on you. Uh, right, well, Sadif and I have been practicing all morning, so we figured we'd take a break. How else did they try to call you, call you all, all earlier, but you were busy with practice? Yes, that's right. I could get kind of hyper focused when I play basketball. A oh, bot? Why did I bring up the basketball? Baseball. So I told them I'd talk to them later when I when you finish our practice. I thought maybe I could see company them in person, so I figured I'd check if there was no art room. I said I wasn't intending to disrupt your investigation or anything like that, so I thought I was intruding. It's kind of good timing, to be honest. Ah, yes, I suppose it was. I mean, you were intending to ask me questions regardless, weren't you? Hmm. So you came out to Chuck and Howl. That's a pretty sensible explanation, I guess. Or well, it would be if it wasn't for the nervous look on his face. He's always nervous, bro! He's always nervous! What's the deal? We don't have an idea of what Matthias has said before I've been up to do. We're still having consistent with that. Time to show him our jump card. Show evidence. What connects Matthias to the crime scene? Baseball. Matthias. I don't suppose this baseball looks familiar to you. Oh, uh, well, you know, I hardly spent that much time examining baseballs. What does he say? <laughs> Perhaps I'm not giving them the due, Matthias. Is it Matthias or Mat Matthias? Right, I don't know how to pronounce his name. We found this ball in the art room. Huh? Is that so? I don't know how I got in there. Well, I think I have an idea of how it happened. You threw it in there. Matthias, I hope this doesn't sound mean, but you're not so great at throwing a baseball, are you? That's why you're doing extra practice, wasn't it? Geez, we need to be blunt, Doss. Like, you would have been more delicate. This is kind of important. No, it's fine. You're right. I can throw a ball hard for sure, but I aim. These are a lot to be desired. Anyone on the team knows that, so naturally that's- which is why Sadev offered to help me. I said you toss a ball into a school classroom. Unfortunately. It's a real shame they didn't have access to the baseball field, huh? Maybe none of this would have happened. So what happened exactly? I didn't really see what the aftermath was. I saw a panic. There was a smashing noise some classroom. I really didn't want to look at, look at it, but... Sadev said one of us should, should go do that at some point. She went to see if the teacher was around, and I eventually came in to check out the damages. That's why you're hanging out in the hallway? Yeah, it's just alright. I was hoping that Howell and others wouldn't be back already when I got here. They have things work out, huh? Oh, this is all my fault, isn't it? I'm pretty sure I broke a window. I'm going to be sitting in so much trouble. You broke a window? That's interesting. You got something to ask? Maybe. You sure, broke a you, sh you sure you broke a window, Matthias? Is that not what you're investigating? I mean, I didn't, I didn't get a good look at the balls trajectory. 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 I didn't get a good look at the ball's path, even, but I'm pretty sure it landed in the art room, didn't it? That's true. But you even know which intended you hit? Not exactly, no. Oh! Wait! 
Notes. Wait, 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 wait. Open window. Examine. Look, there's a there's a splodge there. What it what the ball, right? It's bit paint smear. So what if it this is this is a smear. This is a smear, right? So it smeared, it got onto the the ball, but how does the ball not wait, how does the ball not have paint on it then? How does the ball not have paint in there? Maybe he got framed. Or maybe we can figure it out. Hmm. I was working on her face over the far end of the room, right? There's supposed to be over the right side of the map. Okay, right. So this is the right. Right. That sounds about. That sounds about right from what I remember. Wait, a vase? Did I break someone's vase? We don't know. We don't know for sure yet, but it's possible. Oh no! Mateus aim is but is as bad as he said it is. It could have hit any one of the three art rooms windows from the position. Maybe he hit. No. The right, the right window. Maybe they didn't know the right. Mm, isn't that where the power's poster was hanging up? So it hit the middle. Oh yeah, it was, wasn't it? What was it? What do you mean? I mean, think about it. We saw the other two windows, and neither of them were broken. So you're saying? But someone covered it up. Someone must have covered the window up, like after the ball went through it. That's what I'm thinking. How how old this is? Let's say that I felt something off about the person, maybe that was it. Could be. In any case, it'd be easy to prove the window was broken. We just have to move the person. And that's true. Can I come in, in with us, Matt? I suppose I should, shouldn't I? Sure, her part doesn't give him a hard time in it, though. We still don't know for sure if he did it, but. Well, what's the verdict? We still got some stuff to figure out. How, how can we look at your poster over there? Oh, sure, I guess. You really hang up a this up of sticky tape power? Hey, I've been really tired lately, and wait, what are you doing? Don't worry, I'll put it back. Rip. Oh! Well, what do you know? Oh. Broken window under the notes. Our festival notes of uh, uh, notes updated. This isn't looking good, so good for Mateus. Look at it. We can safely say that Mateus broke this window at least. Yeah. We could have easily hit the base from here. I'm really sorry, Pat. Can't believe this. A baseball through the window. Do you really have to practice outside the art room? I am sorry. I'll bring this up to you somehow. This doesn't seem right. You don't look satisfied. No, this doesn't seem right. I'm sorry. It does not seem right. I'm not. It's just not because Ma Pat is giving Mateus this weird, weird degree over there. What's bothering you? So Mateus broke the window, right? We only knew this because we he told us. There's no sign of the window being broken. No broken glass, nothing. Someone went out of the way to hide the evidence. Yeah, I think you're right. All the problem is we don't know who or why. We can't wrap this up until we answer that. Let's just start with the who. We got a lot of options. Like, I've, I've, basically, everyone connected to this case. Let's just talk it through then. Let me just mute my. What the fuck? Okay. Any opportunity to do this? I guess. Mateus? Or Tabitha? Wait, I forgot! No, I forgot. I actually forgot. I forgot. Let's go to notes. Profiles. She just got. Just got. Mateus break. Okay, let's go see. Oh, Seda's mouth. You think Seda did it? She might have been trying to cover for Mateus. That's the first subject, especially considering we haven't seen her at all. She would have known about it, so she would have the opportunity to mess, mess with the scene and then make a break for it. But did Mateus say she was going to find a teacher? Oh, yeah, he did, really. She probably would have told them that Mateus broke the window. It'd be kind of hard for her, to, for her to cover him all the time. Unless she was going to lie about it, like say someone else broke it. I mean, it's possible. But it's not like there are a lot of people here this morning. There isn't really anyone else who could have done it. Yeah, I guess she's probably not who we're looking for then. I guess... Howell, right? Yeah. Maybe Howell did it? It'll be fair to assume Mateus threw the baseball here. Maybe they were coming for him. Like, out of anyone, there probably was a reason to do that, right? Or did Mateus himself? Yeah, that's probably true. They have admitted for them, but we don't have any evidence tying them to the crime scene. Yeah. I'm still kind of thinking what I said about the poster too. Was something being off of it? Yeah, there's a paint in the corner! Yeah. If you're using to cover up evidence, you probably wouldn't have drawn the attention to it, yeah. And also because something kind of feels off about it to me too. But I don't have anything concrete. Does it, does it mean it's not possible? Maybe there's something we're missing. Had an opportunity. But I don't know who had an opportunity to do this, fam. Who, who else? That's a Patricia. I guess Patricia, man. This is going to sound very dumb, but I'm ready for to heal this. 
Let's look at that tofu every possibility. The sun sometimes are part of stages all this himself. You can not that base over herself for all you know. Okay, sure, but why? Uh, she broke her ages on the base fire. Even if she didn't want to drop out the competition for whatever reason, but she really smashed it and better know someone else. Because they given her new music to top of the scene. It would have been pretty easy to assume when Tayus broke the base if you threw the baseball in here. Like, it doesn't make sense. Fine. Yeah, you're right. But I don't know. It's just a decision. Yeah, no. Bro, I don't know. Fucking. Fucking Tabitha, bro. Could have been Tabby. If anyone saw you to believe she was the first in the scene, she would have had the opportunity. And yeah, she would have. I don't know why she would have the crime scene, though. Like, what's her motive? Good point. If she's obviously already broken, there's no reason for her to cover up the evidence, right? Do you think she wanted to cover up Mercedes for something? Maybe. I don't know. I don't think, I think, I don't think that's that close. Mm. This is a dead end if you don't have a motive for her. Mateus? Oh, Mateus. Go shut up earlier and not mention it. We don't have an opportunity, guys, and motive, but I don't know. That doesn't seem very, feel right. It just seemed like kind of like a bad liar, huh? The same bullets when you talk to him earlier. Yeah, kind of. And also, like, he was trying to cover up what he did, so he did a pretty large job of it. I mean, he left the most damning piece of evidence behind. Oh, yeah, the baseball. Just sitting on the floor. That'll be the first thing he'd pick up, you think? Yeah, I don't think Matt did it. So nobody did it. So, like, what we got with pretty much is that people with the best motives to mess up the crime scene are also the least likely to have actually done it. Yeah, pretty much. This doesn't make any fucking sense, Lesser. Jeez, ass. You can't tell me off for swing and then go and, hey, uh, hey, I, I'm sorry, I don't know if this is a good time. What's up? I was thinking about what you said about fixing the ghost, so I gathered the bits and this one missing. You sure? I'm pretty sure. So someone took the face part. I kind of, I tried to kind of fit them all together, but it looks like there's a pretty big gap. I looked around, but I can't, I didn't find anything. I looked on the tables and the trash bins everywhere. Yeah, did everything look the same as it did when you showed up and you went to pick up the pieces, I mean? I think so. So it's already gone when you showed up. I guess so. So it's, it's missing, bro. Where is it? I don't get it. Why does someone just take a piece? It is kind of weird, huh? Well, it's probably a reason. I mean, I think anyone here has, this habit, has a habit of destroying things. Yeah. Maybe if you, we can figure out the reason, it'll explain some things. Hey, what were, we to, what were we talking about this earlier? What do you mean? Is it possible to see something being missing from the scene? Oh! I don't remember us talking something about something like that. I might have written it down in my notes somewhere. Let's see. What could indicate that something was removed from the crime scene? Oh, small paint smear. There's a weird smear in the paint, right? Like, other than the one from Tabby Shoe. Yeah, that, yeah, right, yeah, that was it. We thought it might have come from the piece of the face. I think that's pretty likely now. Yeah, you're right. This might be what we needed. Uh, uh, is it, bro? I'm so confused. I mean, it's a li lead we didn't have for, for before, sure, but what does it mean? Okay, let's think about this. Someone stole it. The small paint smear from what we think is part of the piece of the face. It looks a lot like the other smith from when Tabby stepped in paint. Yeah, so it probably caused it was it was probably caused in a similar way. Right. Which means this piece would land in the spot in the spot after paint spell. After the paint spell. They both look like they were dragged through paint that was already spilled on the floor. I also not really right about it. looks like something skidded across the floor to land in the paint. That leave a similar small sort of smell, no, right? Yeah, I think so. But there might be another explanation for that. Like if the paint heavily really fallen a bit had fallen a bit around the building base and you dragged the piece out of it, it was still in the smell, right? I mean, shit, if you went to the trouble of dragging it across the floor. Plus, there was this inside piece, wouldn't you just know, pick it up? Okay, fair. Let's assume you're right then, and the paint spill happened before the vase broke, so what? Well. Wait, what? Come to think of it. That kind of doesn't match the facts we, as we understand them. What do you mean? I think I'm onto something here. If a piece of vase fell, fell into the paint, then something we've come to believe about a piece of evidence might be true, might, might not be true. What? I think because wait, spilled paint can right? Because it said that she, because we think that the paint was spilled bef was spilled after the vase broke, but that's not true. The paint was spilled after, which means Tabby did it. Remember how Tabby explained the events? She said she knocked the paint can over and then saw the broken vase. All right, we just showed that it was possible. It was probably the opposite. Yeah, exactly. And her paint, bro. Her fingerprints are literally in the fucking thing. It's Tabitha. Holy, bro. The Tabitha. This is yo. The art festival. For, this is literally her fingerprints. She's trying to put the paint poster up to cover the broken window. Holy shit, guys. Tabby hasn't been entirely true for us. Look, you look like you want to ask me some questions. Something like that. I'm not going anywhere. There's, there's obviously some things you need to clarify by Tabby's version of events. She's hiding something, but I don't I don't entirely know what that means yet. Couldn't have to ask her about anything we might have we might think is connected to her. What should I ask her about? Let's ask her about the spill can. 
I mean, you got some issues over the secrets of Venti as you described them. Is that so? You told us that you noticed a smashed face on the floor right after you knocked over the, the can of paint off the bench, right? That's what I said. Toby does a smell of paint spill that's not from you. It feels a missing piece of Pat's face from fell into it. Oh, she's sweating! She's sweating! She's lying! She's lying! After the paint was already spilled. Do you know for a fact that was a piece of vase? Oh no, but I know that you think I'm lying. We don't even know for sure that uh, if that even is a missing piece of the vase. Tabby, there's definitely a piece missi missi missing. I checked a bunch of times. It's just not here. The right just got lost in the commotion. There's no proof that someone took it. You don't know where it is, do you? No, we don't. Of course we wouldn't. It wasn't if it wasn't taken from the crime scene. But she's right. They have a conclusive evidence that she's lying about the old events. Oh, whoops. I'm not even sure what reason she had to lie about it exactly. It's tough not to crack. What should I ask her about? Uh, the patient print. These shoe prints are definitely yours, right, Tabby? I showed you my shoe earlier. What more proof do you need? Good point. I haven't seen anyone else's shoes either. Tabby's got pretty small feet, but I'll believe they belong to anyone else. They're right. Not much of a point arguing this one. Okay. The fuck? Okay, off this poster. Tabby, do you know anything about this poster? Sure. I don't know why you're asking me. Is how how he's supposed to? How else to understand they noticed something, something kind of off about it earlier? I idea what it is. I'm not sure why you expect me to know that. Okay, fair. I haven't established any connection between her and the poster. Maybe we should check this person and see if I find something. Yeah, it's worth a shot. Let's see. This one. Oh! There's a splurge of bl blue paint here. It's, it sort of looks like a cup our place now, I've, now that I think about it. Like it's covering up that little star in the corner. We don't see this paint somewhere else too. And the paint can! Yeah, it's the same paint that's spilled over the floor. I noticed this over and all over Toby's hand. That's it. She must have touched the poster before clean cleaning the paint off the hand. I wonder if she touched the corner of the paint of the poster if not to move it. I think it's pretty safe to say that this tab tabby has stumbled to the crime scene at least a little bit. Find something? Show sure then. Tabby? Yes. There's some blue paint in the poster. Is that unusual? It's a handmade poster. It's not a strange for paint to be on it. Are really going to be smart ass about this? I mean, sure. If it wasn't that just a small patch in the corner, a small patch that looks like it came off someone's fingers. Then you get paint off your hand. Then you get paint on your hand, don't you, Tabby? You're yes, I did. You're right. All about both things. It was her right hand too, just like on the poster. Tabby, did you move my poster? I felt kind of bad for how you're having that poster used in the cover-up, but we're getting somewhere. But she still hasn't told us everything, but there's no doubt that she has some some hand in one of her hand went down. We know now that she was the one who moved the poster. For some reason, she wanted to skirt the fact that Matthias broke the window. But then why did she leave the... Tabby, come on. I know you're hiding something. If you want to tell them, at least can you tell me? Don't I deserve to know what happened? We need to do something. Tabby, shut up tight and isn't going anywhere. That's just something's bothering me. Or just one thing. You know what I mean. But Tabby's motive for hiding evidence. I don't think she's trying to cover for Mateus. She didn't strike as someone who, who would go to these lens for Mateus' sake. But more importantly, if she was coming for Mateus, she wouldn't have found this other crime scene. What did she find at the crime scene? The fuck did she find at- Bro, am I- Okay. What did she find at the crime scene? Wait. Oh, the baseball. You really think she left, left this baseball at the scene? That's the whole reason we suspected Matthias in the first place. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of the only reason we got this for her. I mean, do you think it was an accident? Do I think it was an accident? Also, uh... It was an accident. I mean, maybe? Possible. We let Matthias off the hook for the same reasoning, though. And the baseball pretty clearly points to him. If you if you wouldn't forget, I'm pretty sure Tabby wouldn't either. Yeah, I guess Tabby's pay is observant. But it doesn't really make sense. Hmm. So it's deliberate. Oh yeah, it is Lester. Yeah. It could be pretty tough to get Tabby to talk sometimes, but I think she's getting close to breaking point. I don't think I've ever seen this her, her, her this nervous. I feel kinda bad. I know. We need to get this out in the open. We don't have a lot of avenues left to pursue. The main thing that's still bothering me is a missing piece of the vase. We haven't even even been able to show that ex that even exists. I think we might have to though. I think it might be the only way to get Tabby to talk. What are we supposed to do? Oh no. I guess just look over the units again. There's still something we're missing. Well, I hope so. What if there isn't? Well, here goes nothing. But what am I missing? What am I missing? It's pretty thick. Maybe it's stuck in the... Where, where could it be? What the fuck you mean? Tabby, we have covered basically everything about this case on this point. There's evidence pointing to you having tamp tampered with the crime scene. But there's still one thing we're missing, the last piece of the race. Is that it? 
and he just gave me the broken piece of can you just give the broken broken piece of the face thing a rest already? Do you even have any proof that it exists? Are you gonna just keep gonna keep me baselessly baselessly harassing me over it? I would love to not have to base, baselessly harass you about it, Tabby, but I'm trying to get the bottom of this. Do you have any evidence that tells us where the missing piece is? No? No, right? I don't have anything. I can't show you. No, I don't have anything to show you. I thought so. Because you still got it, don't you? What? What? Exactly, I don't have it! Gotcha. I mean, you still got the piece of the vase. It had to be you who took it, right? You you can't prove that. Maybe not directly, but... You had a missed opportunity. I mean, you're really taking the time to mess up with the scene of crime. You know, I couldn't, for the life of me, figure out why you did any of this. It didn't make sense to me why you recovered from Mateus. But you went. You just wanted to make it look like even more like he, like he did it. Not only that, but you like it... But you made it look like he tried to cover up his actions. Because it takes the attention off you. You're the one who broke the vase on you, not the Mateus. What? Here's the last piece of the vase. It landed in the paint, just like you said. <gasps> we found it! Missing vase piece added to notes. Tabby, it was you. You broke my face. What happened? Let's see. I came back in here after we all left. I have anything in mind. I just wanted to grab the money and left on the bench. Something startled me. Crash. The baseball smashed through the window and whizzed past me. Cutter cutter. I flinched and my mom on my arm brushed against the almost empty paint can on the bench. I was so kind of startled, so it didn't really register. I must have re re reflexively reached out trying to out to try and grab the can. I didn't really re really remember doing it intentionally. I took a step right into the puddle of paint. Flipped on it pretty badly. I did grab the bench to catch myself, like I said. And the thing fell over. I also kicked the table behind me. The one that Pat's vase was sitting on. I just didn't time to catch a vase. It smashed right in front of me. So, it was an accident. Why didn't you just tell me? Why are you just trying- Why are you trying to pin on Mateus? Eventually I realized the baseball on the floor. And the hole in the window. I got kinda mad. I would have knocked it- I wouldn't have knocked it- knocked the face over or slipped or spilled the paint if it hadn't been for- I might have been able to get away with the scene as it is. You probably would have just assumed there was a baseball that broke the vase, right? That was enough for me. I thought it made it look like Mateus had tried to cover up. You know, beyond a shadow of a doubt, it was- that was him. I cleaned up the glass from the broken window, covered it with the, po with the poster. But I had to point you in his direction, so I left his baseball on the floor. I got kind of though. I didn't- I didn't decide to do it until I messed with Patch and Howell. So I rushed it. I panicked. I forgot to wash my hands before moving the poster. The paint spell made me nervous, to be honest. It was on my hand, on my shoe, it tied me to see the crime. I couldn't deny that, that I knocked the paint can of paint over. I wouldn't have leave a paint spell unattended. I knew that anything that happened in my room after the spill would be my responsibility. So I pretended that the spill happened after the vase was broken. That's why I took the piece that had fallen into the paint. I should have known Pat would call you too. I should have known you didn't figure me out. I'll stop. I actually feel, I feel kind of bad for figuring it out now. I wish I was more sorry than I am. Oh, the truth is, part of me kind of wanted that vase gone. I know I couldn't compete with it. I've never been able to compete with Pat. She's always been too good for me. I guess this kind of proves it, huh? Oh, this is actually kind of sad, you know? I feel kind of bad. Jeez. Yeah. How are you feeling? How have a job well done? Not really. I just feel like a really friendship, to be honest. So I'm going to go a few friendships to get the job done, you know? That was a joke. Come on, Das. What? You want me to be happy about this? Pat looks like she never meet, might, might, might never talk to Tabby again. I don't really blame her. Shouldn't we do something? Look, Das. You did the right thing, okay? You say yourself. It's both the, the school got... Uh, it's all got out in the open instead of a who knows when. At least now they'll be able to fix things. You know. Doesn't mean I don't feel bad about it, though. For a while. The rest of my life, maybe. We're all, we're all going to be so bad detectives, bro. Well, Sadie just called me. Took her a while, but she eventually found the generator. Gen gen you sound awfully happy about that. Oh, I'm actually not. No. I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. It was still an accident, right? Nobody didn't want to get you too bad. We can only hope. Ah, oh, sorry you got dragged into this, Matty. I can't even do much to help, really. I mean, my poster. I didn't even know it had been moved, let alone. Ah, oh, don't blame yourself, Howell. You've been working hard lately. You should be proud of yourself. Also, please try to pace yourself a little better from now on. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's so cute. That's such a cute couple. Hold the face. Let me laugh. Are you two going to be okay? Oh, no, maybe. I'm, I mean, I'm so mad, but she's my best friend, you know? I can't believe she do this. If you need any help, let me know, okay? 
Yeah. Thanks, Lester. Pity does. I forgot about bad, you know. We better clear our scene. Janet is gonna come and clean this mess up. Yeah. I'm kinda of starving. Yeah, like you can talk. You got me out of bed earlier and I didn't, have, get, I didn't even get to have breakfast. And whose fault is that? Yours. Completely 100% yours. Which is why you 100% 100% owe me lunch. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Can I choose a place? I'll consider it. If you tell me your favorite bits in the first uh, early Azalea book. Oh my god. It's serious. Completely 100% serious. Oh, stop. This is such a cute ending, but it's kind of sad, you know. Chapter 1 end. Kapow. It's the chapter 1 end. Oh, Daisy Chain and Junior Detective Story. Kapow. Made by uh, Tess, wait, Tess Peace Face for Na Nana Ren O. I don't know how to pronounce this. 2017. As a serious fun gel pen and gel pen upright by Sarah Reber CC by. Wait, I don't know. Oh, co copyrighted? Music by Sweet on the Ground Once I Move by Grooves Thinking Music by Ke Kevin McLeod. Oh, this is the person with the most like free background music. Sounds from freesound.org. Dialing on the Phone by uh, Free Franzen. Rare Sounds by Joel Blue and Cog Gems 2000B. Korean translation by Ka um, Kyle Ren. Oh, Heron. I didn't know there was a Korean translation. Thank you for making the game. Bro, that was. That was. But I love the little, like, the scene of them playing um baseball. Uh, this is. This was Daisy Chain and Jujutsu Detective Story. That was really good. I, I, wait, I actually don't know why it's called um, Daisy Chain. I don't actually know why it's called Daisy Chain. Huh. But that was really cool. This was a really cool game. Um, I think it's the. Uh, I think they only have one game up, you know, uh, which is this game. But this is really, this was really cool. Um, yeah, I love the bunny style. I love the cute style. I love the story as well. I was I was actually really convinced it was Mateus at some point, but I did figure it out in the end. So let's go, guys. I am not stupid. So goodbye, everyone. Go I right, hold on. Fuck off. Hold on. I keep forgetting, you know. I don't know why I keep forgetting. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Oh what? Say goodbye to me, everyone. Goodbye, goodbye.